fun retool fun retool from MB Wickle over here. We're gonna do a vid today about what? I really have no clue what we're gonna talk about. So I was I already made a vid today about uh, VRA Velocity. So if you didn't check that, check that one. And I am going to do a vid about what? About whatever comes up a bit uh bitcoin dominance so i was getting to my charts and i thought you know what i'm just going to to start recording and we're going to talk about bitcoin dominance about bitcoin about the financial markets most important in my opinion dxy we're going to talk a bit about altcoins uh what to expect when to expect it what's going on and guys you have to know these vids that i make so we're just going through the markets how i see them and i think that a lot of people can learn a lot about this and so these are the vids you just cannot miss <coughs> because this is the alpha and this is what what can make you move into going bullish or going bearish or going into a long or buying a bag or not buying a bag or maybe even selling your bags so please focus on this vid okay let's dive in directly bitcoin dominance what the freak is bitcoin dominance? dominance guys with the spot etf being approved and, and the eth spot etf underway i expected this thing to not break up here and just come down it did not it's breaking up this is very strange this is very strange but it is what it is so for now bitcoin dominance ramping up the next level that we have to keep an eye on is this 54.5 so if we reach over here and we get rejected back that's when you have to focus on ETH and other altcoins that could break out uh, against Bitcoin so because Bitcoin dominance this is really I'm very surprised I'm very surprised that we broke up while well, we got the spot ETF it's already done I really there are some really big 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 wheels buying a lot of Bitcoin over here and I really don't get a clue why maybe it has something to do with the lawsuit going on in the States or whatever but this is madness but I've got another theory also and, and, and maybe it goes a bit far and I don't know if I must share this theory on the open but you know I've shared a chart once and I said when wars start or are going on or heating up that's when you see bitcoin make big moves up is that a coincidence and this is something i've been eyeing for like two years in the war since the war started in ukraine when you see war starting or heating up or whatever you see bitcoin making really big moves up maybe there's a relation there maybe there is something there i don't know i'm not going to dive too deep in that but just saying okay bitcoin i shared this chart in the morning today on twitter guys we had touch number one touch number two touch number three touch number four i want to explain you guys something and i think a lot of retailers will think to themselves what the freak is 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 ambi saying it i can be very super bearish on an asset and longing it at the same time think about this think about this i can be super super bearish on an asset like bitcoin for example but longing it at the same time this is guys when you think about this this is when you get into a mind of a trader this is how a trader thinks so if i'm very super bearish on bitcoin and i think that bitcoin will go to the 38k or 40k or whatever or 20k whatever but i'm longing it at the same time you know what that is that is the mind versus the heart so when my emotions tell me i'm bearish on bitcoin i don't care about that this was yesterday in the private group i shared this one i did a trade it by the way because i was not able to trade i shared this one it was it was this one over here i told them guys bitcoin has reached indicate on the four hour and as you can see this freaking monster we broke up over here boom 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 we came down over here we nearly touched it boom up we came down retested it again and off she went to the next one guys i'm going to make sure that this indicator will reach 
many, many retailers out there. Why am I going to do that? Because this is your best friend. This is the one that saves you from getting wrecked or winning trades. If you would be that bot, because if I'm super bearish on Bitcoin that it's going to dump, as long as my indicator is showing me that there is buying pressure when it gets close to it, it means that if I'm trading, suppose I'm super bearish on Bitcoin and I want to short the shit out of this because I'm super bearish on it over here, suppose over here. This indicator, I created it indicator for the retailers so they can it can help them from getting wrecked so you cannot get wrecked and the most beautiful thing about this is i created this thing for free i'm not selling this thing to you it's free i'm offering it for free so all you guys can use it the only thing that i ask back for this for this for this super indicator that I created for the retailers is a click on the like button and if you follow me on Twitter and like my posts or re and repost my posts and leave a comment for the algorithm. That's all I'm asking back for this indicator. That's all, nothing more. So there was there were some in the private that took the long over here and made really sick PLs. I, I didn't want to share them on, on Twitter. It was just sick, sick PLs, really sick PLs they made. So this is so uh, to get back to the story. I'm bearish, but if this thing, if I see that buy pressure, suppose this one we touched it, it came in, it closed above it. This is a buy signal. It doesn't work out always, but will. Uh, it works out a lot of times. So buy signal and they made sick gains over here. And as you can see, we're just ramping up. So for now, I shared this one. Let me let me show you guys. I shared this one and I showed the hammer, the, the famous hammer from our friend Capo. I shared the hammer. I expect that Bitcoin will get into resistance over here. Does that mean that we cannot break up it? Yes, we can, because you have to understand that Bitcoin price action is based on one thing and one thing only. It's not about the spot ETF. It's not about the spot buys. Bitcoin price action is based on leverage, on leverage, nothing more, nothing less leverage. So meaning if they will see that there are a lot of retail shorts over here at that 52.5. They could easily pump it up to 53, 54, 55, whatever it is to just liquidate all that money and then dump it down. So that's why TA works until it doesn't. So it doesn't mean that this is going to be for sure the resistance level. And anyone that tells you that he can predict the Bitcoin price, especially on the smaller time frames, he's a scam. He's a liar. Whatever. Because nobody can predict the Bitcoin price. What you can do is you can you can, you can make a prediction based on probabilities. So probability like I did. This was this is a resistance line, resistance line, resistance. So we've got one, two, three hits. So this is a very strong resistance level over here because we already got four hits. So this is a strong trend line. So the only thing that can make this thing go up even more is if there are too much retailers shorting Bitcoin, then wheels will start to look for liquidation levels and push it up. But that's just how it is, because if you would have this one, the ones that were waiting to short Bitcoin over here, they made nice money. So for now, let's see. So there, there apparently weren't enough shorts over here because the wheels, if they have seen that there are a lot of shorts over here, they would have popped it up. Of course, so that's about Bitcoin. I wanted to show you guys something else. I wanted to show you guys the Bitfinex shorts, what they are doing. Look at it, guys. Look at this. This is now, if we look at this, if we look at this chart, this is the box we had. Let me make it a bit bigger. We, we made the first touch over here. So if the will start opening shorts over here, because we are at the bottom, as you can see, we're at the bottom of this falling 
wedge, triangle, whatever you want to call it. So if they start opening shorts over here, this could give some pressure to the Bitcoin price to the downside. So this is something to keep an eye on. If this thing just breaks down, then we're going to our golden zone over here. And this is our golden zone over here. This is where the team will open up huge, huge, huge shorts together with these scammy wheels. So that's about the Bitcoin shorts I wanted to show you. Uh, Bitcoin longs. Bitcoin longs is very simple, guys. These guys are just the opening longs. And then they. this was uh, when we were ranging around the 38, 40k levels. And when Bitcoin hits 50, they start taking profits, 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 profits. But I also shared this like months ago, weeks ago. When we will uh, uh, get close to this range, this is where you have to be bullish because this is also very strong, strong support line. So if this thing hits over here, this is where you have to look for a lot of longs. So I'm hoping it to come down. Okay, let's go into the next chart that I want to chat with you guys, and that's the NASDAQ. Guys, I've shared this chart, I think, what was it, two, three days ago? And really beautiful hit in perfection. The team traded this, by the way, this is really perfection. So we had this one over here, the spider line, and then we had this spider line. It came together with the 18K level. I made a video about this two, three days ago. What a beautiful hit over here. And the team shorted this one and they made really nice gains. So why am I showing the NASDAQ now? A lot of people say, what the fuck, uh, MBY are you showing us this NASDAQ? I'm showing you the NASDAQ because the NASDAQ is very important for Bitcoin. And Bitcoin made a nice move up today. You see that sometimes when, when it goes trading against the NASDAQ. But for now, what we're seeing, we have those bad, bad CPI numbers. And well, bad, bad. They were not as expected. And that's why we've got these two daily candles. Now we're getting that. In my opinion, that cat bounce. Let me put on the indicator. We're getting that dead cat bounce, and we're on the four hours. You can see over here, we broke the four hour indicator. We're coming back, and now it's getting retested. And in my opinion, we're going down again. And if we're going down, the, the, the bulls on Bitcoin will struggle a bit in how to make Bitcoin go even better up and away so i think that the spot buyers uh, will, will 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 push a bit back and then it's about the leverage traders if they want to grab some liquidation some retail liquidations or not but that's about that's why we chart the, the the nasdaq and i think that the nasdaq we had this strong bouncy i think that the nasdaq will come down if we will uh, break the indicator that's very super bullish but i don't think that it would i think that at some point it will come down because we need that healthy correction on the nasdaq uh the us 500 well is just the same yes i wanted to talk about something else this is looking this is looking juicy this is looking juicy i wanted to explain something about this guys this is the yen against the dollar Guys, you know, we made that sick money over here on this rise and we didn't make money on this one. By the way, took profits and out of it. Guys, the yen, I'm not going to say anything more. The yen is looking good. The yen is re looking real good. Okay, so let's go into uh, Ethereum. Where is ETH? Let me go to ETH. ETH, 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 BTC. Look guys, I've shared it. We need to get into the box. And as you can see, we have gotten into the box. And that's where ETH BTC started trumping up. But I think that this is nothing. This is nothing. So we entered into the box. We touched it like shared in my ETH vid. Guys, watch the ETH vid if you didn't watch it. And we're now popping up. So now we've got this channel we're in. And it's just a matter of time. We, by the way, hit it in perfection. This, this this looks really, really great. So for now, we're struggling with the indicator, and we've got the 200 DMA, and it comes really beautiful together with 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 this falling wedge. But guys, if this thing rockets rockets up, it's not only ETH. There are a lot of altcoins gonna fly against Bitcoin. But we need 
that healthy correction first. So it will happen. It, and I think that it will happen together. I think that when this thing starts romping up, it's the same time when Bitcoin will start falling down. Ethereum, congrats everyone that took the trade. We did not get hit on the buy zone over here. I was waiting for this zone to hit again and maybe even lower. So, well, that's just how it is. We missed it. I even, I, normally I would trade this. Uh, I didn't trade it also because I'm a bit busy. I'm gonna be traveling, so I'm, I'm not, I did not, I did, I did, I'm not trading a lot. But this is congrats to everyone that is that has been has been has been trading this, and we're making even higher lows here from the previous higher highs. I mean, uh, guys, this is looking really great. So if this thing by any means comes down, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. It's a no. ETH is showing the way. ETH, guys. ETH, if ETH comes back retest this or even lower this zones it's just a buy 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 for me okay so what did i wanted to talk about again what was it yes there's one coin i wanted to talk about lrc guys lrc lrc i think that lrc is really heating up and it already started to to, to, to go up we didn't hit the buy zone, unfortunately, otherwise we would be in very nice profits, but we didn't hit it. But I'm really patient on this one. And, I, you know, normally, guys, this coin in an eye blink, it would be over here. It, it goes very fast when it when the when the momentum and it it's so it's just I hope that we get some correction and it comes back to the box. and we can scoop some another one that I wanted to show ball. And this this coin has got a very 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 good strong community so also something i'm eyeing uh there was another coin i wanted to show you guys where is it where is it? you know guys i love the rec charts i love the rec charts what was it what was it it was no it was not this one but medic guys medic also i've talked about it it's looking really uh, this thing if it start rumping up medic will also have its rise up so guys, I think that we've talked about a bit of everything today. Uh, th these are the most important things that I wanted to talk about in this vid today, in this, in this, in this, uh, on this vid. Um, the team in private trading group were taking. Uh, we were in some shorts. We were in some uh, one long loom. I shared it yesterday, the day before. I shared it on Twitter, and I told you guys this thing is heating up. And well, some nice gains made on loom today, also. So we're really killing it on the on the on the uh, on the on the private group. But you know, in the private group, it, it has momentum. There are some days when you just nil like three, four, five, six, seven, eight trades, and there are some times when you just take one, two, three trades and just easy. And why am I saying this? it's not about making gains it's about not losing money that's what i teach in the private group the trading course the education all over there i'm trying to control those people how they can control their emotions and they can control their greed because when you can control those two and you know what you're doing it's not about making money don't focus on making money when you focus on making money it means it goes it goes compared with it your, your companion will be greed and emotion they go together when you try to make money like one of the private group members he told me i want to buy a house i want to buy a home for myself as much as i hope that he will manage to buy that home but it's not the right mindset as a trader. As a trader, you have to be dead from inside. You have to focus only on not losing money. Have patience, strike at the right time. When you take a small loss, take a small loss, wait for opportunities. And when you strike, strike hard and take the damn money. And that's when you're gonna focus on not losing money. That's when you're gonna make money. The money will come to you. You don't even you, 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 you don't even you don't even know it but wait there my portfolio i had like 10k and now it's 17k how is that even possible i'm not even focused on making money i'm only focused on not losing money but how did i manage to get from 10k to 17k how is this even possible that is possible if you focus on not losing money don't focus on making money because when you're gonna focus on making money that's where the markets, all the markets, financial markets in the world, in trading world, are built on that, on that sentiment, 
on that mindset because everyone in the markets is focused on making money and that's how they lose money because the the, the, the market makers they, 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 they you are a very 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 easy target for them and they will target you and they will kill you so that's why forget about making money making money isn't important forget about that your, your, your mindset has to be, I'm going into those charts and I'm going to into a trade. My mindset is, I'm going to do everything I can to not lose money. And when you're doing that, you will see that you will make more money than your mindset would be. You're going to make money because when you want to make money, you're going to lose money. But if you're going to only focus on not losing money, you're going to make a lot of money. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. But this is what I'm trying to, to, to educate in the private group. And there are a lot of, uh, I'm seeing a lot of members that are very weak. And I've said it many times in trading, in trading, if you really want to become a trader, 90% will fail. And you know why? Because people have just emotions and, and, the, and the greed that kills them. And, you know, I have to focus on those that from where I think those are the ones that I can make real traders out of because I have to be I have to be sure that they don't that they know how to control their emotions and their greed and they focus on education and they are dedicated to educate and to trade and to make money and focus only on money we as traders we don't care if Bitcoin goes to 100k 200k a million or to zero we just don't care about that the only thing that we focus on is making money every day again and again. Do you really think that I care if Bitcoin is at 100k or 70k or 50k or 20k or 5k? No, I do not. I open up my chart. I look, I open up, I do my indicator on it. I look at the chart. I look what's happening. I combine many charts, a lot of tools. I go as a pro and then I make my move. And when I make my move, I make my money every day again and again and again and again. And it doesn't matter to me where Bitcoin is at that, at that moment. And you've got some oracles on Twitter all shouting and yelling. Uh, I predicted this and I predicted that and I predicted this and I predicted that. Will he be sharing when he didn't predict something good? No. He will only tell you when he did something right. That's the mindset of CT. That's how it works in CT. It's one big marketing bubble. They are they are over there to, 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 to get into the minds of retailers. Look how great I am. Come, pay me 300 bucks. Oh, today is a real big, 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 big event going on. You can get in with a lifetime for just 170, 180, 190, 200. It's all car salesmen. They want to sell you something. They need your money. Why would they need your money if they can make the money on the freaking charts? Think about that. Have a nice one. If you want to join us, the links are below. Thank you very much and bye-bye.